Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And it's kind of ironic. I made a couple of videos today about distressing text or distressing a star. And now somebody wants to distress and they call it a grunge look. Uh, kind of like, like an old t-shirt's been printed or faded and washing, you know, washing out. So if you go to dafont.com, they have a font called Hard Grunge. And it's free, you can download it. And I'll, to do this, all I did was type out the capital I because I just want something easy to do. So we're gonna take that capital I and we're gonna go to Hard Grunge. And it turned it into that. So you can do a lot with this. You could stretch it, um, make any kind of look you want. You know, if that's not the look you want, I would left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate of that guy and then holding down the control button and flip it. Now you've got a symmetrical product, but you could, you know, uh, flip a mirror in both directions and you could actually bring this one in more. Then you could take the whole thing and control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button, which isn't that important. And they can even be overlapping. So that's pretty good right there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take the smart fill tool, but we want to stop any leaks. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select the rectangle button twice. That put a rectangle around. So now, and that'll work with any object, but now, I want black and then just start filling in the larger spots of black and you might even get some that are going to uh, overlap like that, but um, it all depends on what you want and you could still change that. You know, if you got, well, right here in the middle, it's too much, too much white. Well, you could take these and make you a strip across there, add you a node and have it go up here. You, there's a number of things. These are both going to be black, but you can move one out of the way. You know, sometimes it's not going to help you, but you could take these, you know, shapes and, and so you see sometimes they're not going to even change because you're overriding the other one. But you can definitely do like this next to white and bring them up and have this grunge look. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to right click no outline. And I am going to group this together, control G or go to object and group. Now I've already, the person had a font kind of like that. So I'm going to use their font or something like that. That's all kind of all tied together. And I'm going to make my graphic at least as big as my text. And since it's grouped together, and the only thing it's not going to do is probably make the eye. So we're gonna select our item, go up to object and power clip inside a frame and then hit your frame. And there you have a grunge look. Now, if you don't like that, you can edit it and move everything around and then finish and see what you like. But it is kind of a uh, easy way to make a grunge look or a distressed look in some font. And I might, I'm going to go out on a limb here. You might even, I don't think we can change it now. But, you know, if you don't like that void spot, uh, take your item and just make it a little bit wider. And then um, you can actually see what the letters are going to look like. So while that, before you power clip that, you could take that, well, we'd have to ungroup it but you could actually change it. So let's go to finish now. And that looks a lot better. Anyway, uh, so go to DA fonts. I, I use it a lot. I, I love it. They've got more fonts than you can imagine, but that font is, font is called hard grunge. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.